Anthony Sheehan. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Near You Now, based down in Brighton in Sussex. Uh, and I'm a deal maker on UKTI's Global Entrepreneur Program. What does the Global Entrepreneur Program do? The program attempts to help overseas entrepreneurs coming into the UK uh, become more successful, make that transition more easy, uh, plug them into networks, get them connected with investors, uh, with partners, with potential non-exec directors, with staff, whatever it is they need to accelerate their growth when they arrive in the UK. We're there to help them build those connections. And the reason we're able to do that is because the, the people on the program, we're all entrepreneurs ourselves. We're all running our own businesses. Uh, there's a team of about 15 of us at the moment. Uh, across different sectors uh, and the real goal of the program is to have entrepreneurs talking to entrepreneurs uh, and helping them with their issues as they arrive in the UK so that they can really concentrate on building their business here. And you've got two sectors that might have some particular relevance to Africa, one, <coughs> one of which is mobile, which you're responsible for yourself, and the other is <coughs> clean, clean net, clean energy. Well, actually, the program runs across a whole number of sectors, but you're right. I think the, the, the areas that really excite us about, uh, about Africa at the moment would be uh, a number of digital areas, including digital health um, and also food technology and, and those, those kind of areas, and also then clean tech. Um, and the, the whole range of, of clean energy uh, and, and pollution alleviating technologies, uh, which I think Africa is, has some really interesting projects in. And we have specialist deal makers in those areas that could, can help companies coming in. And how did you personally become involved with um, African entrepreneurs? Because you were saying until a year ago that there, there weren't many really on the horizon. Yeah, the program's taken in about 300 companies and helped 300 entrepreneurs over, the, over recent years bring their businesses in. But we hadn't had too many from Africa. They'd been, most other parts of the globe, there had been uh, companies coming from. Um, then we just started to get a sense that something is happening in Africa. I met uh, a chap called Gregory Roxon, who runs a company called M Pharma. Uh, and whilst Gregory wasn't looking to bring his business to the UK, he got me very fired up about the quality of African entrepreneurs, the worldview that they're now having, uh, and their ability to communicate their story. So at that point, I was really attuned to, to what was happening down there. And over the last couple of years, we have now seen you know, the first two or three African founders bring their business to the UK with our support. And you've got a couple of very interesting examples. Give, give us the first of those, which is in the healthcare field. That's right, yeah. There's an Egyptian company called Nabdacare. Um, based in Cairo and selling currently through North Africa and the Middle East. And what they've put together is a, is a platform and a suite of mobile applications that allow health professionals and also family members and other extended care networks to measure and monitor and track a whole range of different medical conditions. And it's particularly useful in cases where you have multiple clinicians uh, and family members and carers trying to measure and monitor and, and, and track the patient uh, and making that data available and visible in, in really easy to use, uh, use ways. Things like children's mental health is a, is a key area for them. Uh, IVF and pregnancy is another one. Uh, and home care as well for, for the elderly and people who've been uh, uh, recently released from, from hospital is, is, is other areas where the solution is really um, applicable. In their home market, they're able to go in with fairly greenfield uh, deployments and actually you know, reinvent the whole way that care is provisioned using technology to do that. Bringing the business to the UK is a slightly different challenge. There's a great opportunity to work with us here in the NHS, but they really need to think about how they, uh, they retrofit the technology to current ways of, of NHS working and NHS care, care pathways. Uh, so we're helping them position the technology in the right way here. And the second example is to do with 3D printing and prosthetics. Yes, that? that's, that's correct. So 3D Life Prints is a company founded by uh, two guys, originally British, who spent some time in the Far East and then went to Kenya uh, to found a company called 3D Life Prints to, uh, to print prosthetics, so replacement uh, arms and legs uh, for, your, for amputees using the, the most current 3D printing technology. And by doing that, they're able to reduce the cost of a prosthetic from about $1,000 was the, the, the original cheapest price down to about $50 a unit, which is game changing for, for many people. Um, and they're building that business now in, in Kenya. But what, what they've come across is a couple of other opportunities with that technology. One is to produce um, replicas of ordnance and mines and missiles that litter certain parts of Africa. Uh, and obviously, you know, one of the cause of the, the amputees that they see coming through the clinic for prosthetics. By producing the, um, the replicas, they're able to support education programs that help children and other members of the population avoid picking up and uh, walking on, 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 on these units. And the UN and other NGOs are very keen to support them with, uh, with, with this work. 
The final piece, and probably the real growth story of the business, is 3D printing of internal organs and bones from MRI scans. And that's a business they think now they want to take from Africa and bring it to the UK and globally. They're, uh, they're trialing that currently up in Liverpool at Alderhey. Um, and there was a recent case where they produced a 3D model of a, of a distorted spine that enabled the clinician to completely reevaluate the way that the operation would, would, would be un, uh, undertaken and actually saved both the, the hospital and the patient a lot of, a lot of time, money and, and grief and allowed that operation to proceed much more carefully. So that's a really exciting business and that part of their line, they're, they're now looking for funding and we're, we're trying to help them grow that here in the UK. And how would an African entrepreneur get in touch with you? So a couple of ways. Um, you can always access you know, the range of UKTI services, including the Global Entrepreneur Programme, through your local UK embassy or consulate, uh, providing them some, some commercial staff there. They'll be able to plug you back into our team. Or you can get hold of any of the dealmakers. Um, and I'll, I'll leave that as a challenge uh, as to where you can find us. Uh, there are sites and our names are out there in different sectors. Uh, I tweet reasonably regularly at uh, Anthony underscore Sheehan, and that's probably the best way to get to me. Uh, and if you're in a different sector to, to, to my ones, uh, I'll make sure to connect you to the right people. Uh, once you've found us, your only job is to get us excited about your business and excited that we can help you here in the UK, uh, and then we'll be happy to do so.